Now, so let's look at how one goes about using the Subversion repository with Subversion, uh, the Subversion client, the Tortoise SVN client, which runs specifically under Windows. We're looking at that right now to check out a file or check out the latest release, work on it on your home machine in Visual C++ Express Studio. So one of the ways you do that, you go to, in this case, to the trunk, come down to the checkout folder, and go into your local directory. In this case, I'm going to uh, create a new demo uh, checker. Yep. And then grab it all. I'm going to download it onto my local drive. And since this is using Visual Studio 2008 C++ Express Edition, it doesn't have a native integration with a repository or a configuration management tool. Now this works pretty well to kind of do an after the fact uh, with the version. So once that's done, I can bring up Visual C++ 2008 Express Edition, completely free for Microsoft. Come down to Open Project. Go to my Demo Checkout folder. You notice it has a little green check or a red mark. And that's what Tortoise SVN and Subversion puts on that folder to indicate that it's been checked out of a Subversion repository. But I go open that up and I'll find this .sln file, FLL NXT Navigation .sln. That's a Visual Studio solution file. Click on it. Open it. And lo and behold, I now have all of the source code. Most everything in here is under forms.h. That's all the custom written software. Windows does a whole bunch of wonderful stuff to make it forward. And here at the bottom of the .h forms.h file, you see the various routines and that are done to uh, save and calculate and run the actual programs. You can also view the designer mode to see the dialog box or the window box. And there's the same window box that you see when you run it. Changes can be made, file menus, all sorts of wonderful things. Now, once you're done with this, you make whatever changes you want to do, hopefully add some features, add some updates. You can come in, recompile it, rebuild it, get it all working, and then do, and in this case, let me come in, and I'm just going to make a simple change that says, uh, downloaded from the FN in repository on 12-29-2008. So I save that. Okay. What we're doing is drawing out the path that the robot should take. You click and drag where the robot should go. It's calculating the number of revolutions each wheel needs to make, both for the straight lines and for the turns. And you can take this, you can download it into the robot, uh, and assuming that your robot has the same wheels and same wheelbase as ours that was originally calibrated for, it should work for you. You can also delete previous lines, delete them all over, and start all over again, save the output, open the uh, and recall the output and export it to an NXT format which allows you to actually download it to a program that runs on the Lego Mindstorms NXT system. So that's all done. I like to save all, close the solution, then when you come down back into projects you'll notice that we have this red exclamation part that says that that program 
has been changed from the baseline. If you want to, you can then come back to an SVN commit and it'll let you load that back up into the repository making changes uh, as we go forward. So that's pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, you've seen the Tortoise SVN. You see here where it makes the updates right to the Windows Explorer option. Uh, and you can look for there's several videos on YouTube which and elsewhere which kind of give you a really good introduction into Tortoise SVN. I highly recommend searching for them. Uh, and you can see how you can navigate through it. And it makes it very, very straightforward. I went from never having set up a subversion repository or using anything about subversion to getting this up and running in about five hours of work. Uh, most of that was spent just kind of figuring out what that layout was going to be. Um, one of the subversion books I was able to get shows some pretty standard patterns for the tag the release the trunk branch pattern which is what we're using. So if you have any questions there is a detailed discussion of this, a little more detailed discussion, on the FNN discussions page where you can go in, see pretty much what I've said here, and that's not the, the sorry about that. On discussion page, an approach to navigating the software repository, and you can see a description of the various folders, um, approaches for how we're organized, how to do this. Here's a great uh, subversion video that I watched, six part video, pretty easy to follow. Jeremy Osborne does a very nice job on how to use Tortoise SVN uh, on your local machine. Uh, based on that, I just kind of figured out pretty quickly how to do most of this. Um, how to the things that you need to do to work inside and outside of the main programs. So with that, I uh, hope that you enjoy the FLL NXT navigation program. Silent Striker has done a great job creating this and it's been very, very useful for young robotics engineers as they go forward with the First Lego League Challenge. And I hope that uh, you leave the comments on the discussion boards or uh, the comments fields and if you have any questions please leave the uh, information on the CodePlex website.